Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you how I installed this flawless wig for the very first time. If you're interested, keep watching. Y'all gotta excuse me right now. I'm looking mad crazy on this part, but here I'm just trying to figure out where to place the wig before I spray it. So I finally found out where I wanted to place it, which is a little bit before my hairline. Once I decide where I want the wig, I flip the lace back and I take this got to be blue spray. Because this got to be glued has such a strong hold on it I decided to place it right before my hairline and then put the wig directly over the spray take an end of the rat tail comb and I'm just pressing down the lace I don't want to use my fingers because I heard that it can turn the lace white and you don't want that so and I'm just taking a blow dryer drying it out and I'm doing it piece by piece as you can see I did get some of the spray in my little baby hairs, but do not worry about that because you could just easily comb that out. Focus on drying the lace down so, so that it doesn't roll up. By the way, this wig is custom made by KB and I'll plug her Instagram name in here so that you guys can follow her. So once I got the front of the lace laid, I went to each ear to make sure that the tabs were fitting right in place. So here I'm combing the edges, making sure that they aren't stuck underneath the lace because I'm about to go in and spray it. So I'm taking the spray, spraying it right underneath the lace, placing the lace down, taking the end of the rat tail comb, pressing down on the lace. Now make sure that you don't have any air bubbles. So to prevent that, you want to um, keep moving that comb around all over the lace. Also guys, make sure you have the dryer on cool setting. You don't want to have it too hot. Now I have it dry and I noticed that it was turning a little white and I got some hairs that were stuck so I'm just combing it out and then I'm going to figure something out to um, remove this white. I'm going to the other air tab, lifting it up, and spraying the Got To Be Glue spray. And I'm just repeating the same step on this side, getting that rat tail comb to lay it down, hold it in place. And then I'm just using the blow dryer to dry it up, moving a comb around. I don't want any air bubbles. As you can see, it's drying a little white again, and it's giving that flaky look. Me personally, I feel like any of these products will give that white look just from experience. But it's things that you can use to make that white flaky look go away. So that's why I'm not worried. Once I dry the wig and comb the edges out, I decided to go in with some mousse and applying it on my baby hairs. So I have this pink comb and it's pretty cool to use when you're doing your baby hairs. It has a brush on one side and a comb on the other side. So I am combing down my baby hairs so I can get ready to style them. And I noticed I had an air bubble on the other side. So I took some more of the Got To Be Glue spray. I put it on the end of the rat tail comb and then I put it up underneath the lace and then I just blow dried it again with the blow dryer once again on the cool setting. So I'm styling with the green eco styling gel. This is my favorite. I love it because it doesn't dry white. I'm taking the brush in and I'm just swooping now, I'm not a professional at all, but I know what I like, so I'm just swooping until I can get the look that I want. Ran into a few long strings, so I'm just clipping them with the scissors, and then I'm going to proceed with the swoop.
Now that I have the look that I want, I'm just taking my hair out of the ponytail, playing in it, rubbing my fingers through it. I'm going to tie my edges up and do my makeup and I'll be back to show you the rest of the steps. FYI, if you have any spots of your hair that looks white to you, just put a little bit of mousse on it before you wrap it up and you'll be fine. So this is what it looked like once I took my scarf off and I just decided to take a small eyeshadow brush and put a blue brown powder over the lace just so that it could blend a little bit better. By the way, if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look, I will have the link in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. And for anyone who wants to know, I'm using the contour shade, I'm sorry, I'm using the scope shade out of the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm taking that same mousse and I'm just applying it all over my hair just to bring the curls back and make them pop. And I'm also taking my wig brush and just going through it, brushing it out. Bringing the curls back, make them pop, you know, because y'all already know. We got to be the one of that too, okay? You can also spray a little bit of water on it too to make it curl up a little more. So this is the finished look. If you like this, if you rock it with me on this, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends and all that good stuff. Also, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Mwah.